Visual circuits are part of the routine arrival pattern at many of the destinations that we fly to. This short video is designed to give pilots clear understanding on the techniques that may be utilized to improve the consistency and performance of visual approaches and visual circuits. Given the modern philosophies of jet transport aircraft, significantly less time is devoted to developing hand flying skills. When conditions are appropriate, crews should utilize the opportunity to hand fly visual circuits to aid in maintaining their manual handling skills. Hand flying a visual circuit is a skill which all crews should be comfortable performing. You'll see on the screen the image from Boeing in terms of guidance for a visual approach. The norm normal circuit spacing is two nautical miles offset from the runway center line and this spacing needs to be established no later than the base turn point or the BTP. The navigation display can be used to discern determine this by using either the TCAS range ring which is three nautical miles or by inserting the runway threshold into one of the fixed pages. Whilst the guidance in the video assumes a level downwind at 1500, drift down circuits can be conducted in Class C and D aerodromes. At the moment we're positioned to begin an approach into Hamilton Island runway 14 as if we are descending in from Brisbane. Boeing specifies a 2 nautical mile a beam spacing for the downwind leg at 1500 above ground level. Timing of 45 seconds from a beam the threshold for the base turn point or the BTP to achieve the recommended BTP in nil wind. This timing may be adjusted earlier for wind effect. Extending the downwind beyond 45 seconds or further than a beam the 2 nautical mile runway extension does not follow the prescribed Boeing pattern. It wastes fuel and is not recommended unless traffic or ATC instructions dictate otherwise. A beam the 2 nautical mile runway extension equates to approximately 45 seconds in nil wind and is therefore another positional aid for determining when to turn base. Normally, the aircraft is slightly below glide path at the start of the base turn, so 1,500 with 6 track miles to touchdown. Consequently, initial descent should be commenced at around 6 to 700 feet per minute with a 25 degree angle of bank. Once established on the base leg, the aircraft should be at 1,200 to 1,300 above field elevation, which should show around 300 feet high on the VNAV path and if the Vasi or Papi is visible, it should be one to two dots high. The aircraft is approximately three nautical miles physically displaced from the Vasi or the Papi, but with more than four track miles to touch down. The base turn technique, for standardization, the technique is presented as a stepped procedure. We will enter downwind or drift down to arrive at the base turning point at approximately 1500 feet, flaps 5 with 2 nautical mile spacing. There are various ways to determine the runway separation as already outlined. We will be using the 2 nautical mile fix ring based on the landing threshold. Referencing the cross track distance from the centerline depicted below the aircraft symbol on the navigation display is another way, but this will only be available if an intercept course to the runway extension has been executed. The third way as discussed is referencing the TCAS range ring. The runway will be located between the 1 and 2 o'clock positions and the radius of the TCAS range ring is 3 nautical miles. So we have set up runway 14 with 2 nautical mile extension with 3 degree flight path angle and this is demonstrated here. We also have our 2 nautical mile ring reference the threshold and this was achieved by selecting runway 14 from the FMC uh, legs page and inserting it into the fix info page. Okay so I've set Hamilton Island VOR 150 knots and 1500 feet just for our descent planning. We are visual with the runway, we'll assume we have been cleared for a visual approach, so we'll uh, continue our descent to 1500 and now heading select down mode for a downwind. 
A reminder, class D airspace with the tower active, 200 knots, maximum below 4,000. Checked. Very good first officer. So we're aiming to reach our base point at 1500 feet. As we are now vectoring ourselves for the visual approach, we can line select RX14 and set our uh, intercept course as 135, which is the runway heading. Now things are going to happen quickly. As we come up to a beam, the downwind threshold, we will commence timing for 45 seconds. We will select gear down and flap 15. At 20 seconds, as we're landing with flap 40 today, we will select flap 25 and at approximately 30 seconds, we'll select landing flaps and we'll complete the landing checklist. Now, configuring prior to the base reduces the workload and it allows more attention to the fly th flight path management. Landing flaps can be selected on base if desired as depicted in the Boeing visual traffic pattern shown before. At 45 seconds or a beam the two nautical mile runway extension we're going to commence a descent at six to seven hundred feet per minute and commence a turn using 25 degrees angle bank. Flaps five. Flaps five. As we level the wings on base, the VNAV deviation scale should indicate approximately 300 feet high. And then as the trend vector, the trend vector as it passes through the runway center line, about a quarter of its length, with the map scale set to 5, that's when we're going to turn onto final, disconnect our autopilot, and make appropriate adjustments to capture the appropriate descent. We must uh, reset our flight directors, or recycle our flight directors, and also set our missed approach altitude and heading. Being a visual approach, we'll make another visual circuit if we go around so our altitude will be reset to 1500 feet A quick look shows that our spacing is good remember the next step will be a beam of threshold start the clock gear down flat 15 Things happen very quickly. Square up our downward. Okay, there's the threshold. Clock started. Gear down. Gear down. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Twenty seconds. Flaps twenty-five. Flaps twenty-five. Flaps twenty-five. Flaps 40. Flaps 40. 30 seconds. Forty five seconds, right turn, set five hundred feet, and 
around 650 vertical speed descent rate. Checked. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. Flaps 40 green light. Landing checklist complete. Recycle of flight directors. Recycling flight directors. Just started going through the center line. Set altitude 1500. Caution, terrain. Set heading 135. 1500. Set. Heading 135. Set. Stable. Checked. Mr. Bridge altitude is set. Minor corrections now. Flying visually. Speed break up, reverses normal. Auto brake disarmed. Manual brake. Sixty knots. Check. And there you go. We made it. Practice makes perfect. <laughs>